It's not gonna get. It's not gonna give you anywhere near as much as liver. Okay, go ahead. Lesson learned. Don't try to come at people with concrete facts with abstract fiction. Free game. Free game. Hey, yo, what's happening, people? It's your boy Blaze here for Venomous Reactions, and today we got an interesting video here. <laughs> it makes me laugh just looking at it. Man eats hot dog in front of angry vegan woman. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that, that is pretty savage. Like, you gonna eat a hot dog in front of a woman that's vegan? And we all know vegans can come off as, you know, a little... A little bit on the strict side. I mean, I'm not knocking anyone that's vegan. I mean, I mean, you are free to live the life the way you want. But you do have some vegans out there that try to push their beliefs on people. And, bro, it, why? When you try to force your beliefs on people, that just makes you look like a raving idiot. I'm just saying. <laughs> But, we, but man, we're going to check this out here. This should be entertaining. So without further ado, let's go. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. I'm trying to have a barbecue. Yeah. Because of that, go across the road right now or we'll call the police. Call the police really? for what? <laughs> There go the police right there. I think that might be cannibalism if they eat a hot dog. Oh, what? Damn. This is a lot hot dog. Yeah, he enjoying that hot dog for real. You seem pretty upset when I went over there. <laughs> I got, I got buns, I got relish, I got ketchup, mustard. You want a hot dog, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> you are you are the best. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> like you are the best. <laughs> he gets the hot dog like, yeah, hot dog for the win. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yo, that did it for me. <laughs> like, like, no. No veganism over here. I'm gonna enjoy this hot dog today, then, sweetheart. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh, that was good. Any of you were in those animals' position, I'm sure you wouldn't want that to happen to you. If your oppressor has a choice, you would want them to choose the choice of non violence and peace. What about plants? Do they have a choice? A plant killer! <laughs> Mmm. That that is a good flip on the question though. I mean, what about plants though? You know, plants are living things too now. I mean, if you don't believe it, Google it. It's there. Plants are living creatures. Just like, you know, just like animals. Just like the things you enjoy, like you know, you enjoy your beefs, you enjoy your chicken, you enjoy your turkey and pork and all that. What about the plant life? Plant lives matter too. I like that. The reason why you cannot eat meat is because one, you're gonna get cancer. Huh? Two, it's just not good for you. You should have more plants in your life, okay? And that looks fake, so I don't know why you need it. Also, why are we killing animals? Meat is the healthiest thing you can eat. Animal products are the healthiest things you can eat. Eggs, no red meat, it's not gonna give you cancer. That's been debunked several times. Tell me! It's just Facts. completely not true. It's categorically false. And this is the most nutrient food. I got liver right here. B vitamins, B vitamins, vitamin A. What plant food is gonna give you this many nutrients? Okay, 
wait, you're talking about nutrients? That's what health is. Get yourself some spinach, broccoli, like something. That will give you vitamin K, but is it gonna give you B vitamins and vitamin A? It's gonna give you B12. It's not gonna give. It's not gonna give you anywhere near as much as liver. Okay, go ahead. Lesson learned. Don't try to come at people with concrete facts with abstract fiction. Free game. Free game. <laughs> like, she really trying to argue the point. <laughs> like, it's the, it's the stats is there. Like, you, you do have your meats that have, like, that have, like, your much-needed nutrients. Despite what everybody's saying about them, you do have some uh, protein out there that's good for you. And here, just demonstrated that in more ways than one. So how is liver bad? It's gross. I think I won. Yeah, you definitely won, you my guy. Do you want some KFC? Uh, no, because I don't want to hurt a chicken. Oh, I could have been born a chicken. I don't know, man. It tastes pretty good. And they do. Does taste justify torturing a defenseless animal who wants to live? I don't know, man. They, they taste, he doesn't know if it's They, they taste pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm asking KFC at a vegan protest. Damn! <laughs> Mate, do you want a bite? I answered your question, didn't I? I said no. Fair luck, next time. I actually really appreciate these guys being here. I think so too. They're creating a spectacle for us. Oh, they tearing up that KFC box for real. <laughs> But low key, I can't even front, man. There'll be times where I, while we're enjoying like a thing of KFC, it's not like an everyday thing, but I'll go like once or twice out of a full year. You know, that's only if there's like KFC at the house and I'm hungry as hell. I haven't ate anything all day. That would be like the last resort. But I ain't mad at the people that's liking KFC. It's just not an everyday thing for me. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie, they wedges though, the wedges slap. Oh my, I'm gonna be a little pasteurized. This is terrible and unnecessary, this isn't even funny. Just let those poor meat eaters eat their meat in peace. All I see here is two different groups Pause. with different opinions. The difference is, is one group telling you what to do and what a terrible person you are, and the other one's just at peace, not telling them to do anything. Um, we are here in Washington Square Park, and we're showing people how they get their eggs, how they get their bacon, how that steak gets to the plate. You see they're crammed into these tiny, disgusting, filthy conditions. Oh, God. I, um, Hard to focus with this lady, but I, 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 The meat industry should be very afraid of me. Oh, oh, shiver my timbers! Shut up, man! <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite. I go to Taco Bell all the time. What do you get at Taco Bell? I get a crunch wrap, but swap out the beef and get some beans in there. Same. Also swap out the sour cream and the cheese. And yeah. Don't they use eggs beans. in their, like, in their wraps? I hope they don't. Yeah, but I hope they don't either I'm, because then that wouldn't be vegan. I don't know why she was coming at me. I have seen vegan YouTubers who like go to Taco, Taco Bell like and like can make it vegan minutes. just to show yeah. people that like it can be like Not convenient. I don't know why you guys are <laughs> oh, just, trying to yeah, tell yeah. me about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I eat honey, but honey isn't vegan. I think that made me feel like my How would you know? vegan wasn't good enough. Anybody What's your favorite candy? Nerds. Oh, name one. Name one. Nerds, Sour Make Patch Kids. Name one. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't yeah. vegan. I thought they were, but... No, it's not what they okay. Maybe I'm not a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, maybe you're not, man. But this woman here, uh, her responses just irritate my soul. Like, I don't know, that's not vegan. Well, those are not vegan. Oh, honey is a vegan. Like, shut the fuck up. For crying out loud, just shut up. Damn. Like, damn. Can I just enjoy, like, one good thing without being criticized? Don't let me be in the same presence with this woman, because I would have tore her head clean off.
Seriously, like, I don't see meat eaters going to vegan restaurants and saying, oh, you're a really bad person for this or disrupting the business or even sometimes doing damage. <laughs> Are you serious? Unfortunately, we have to stay for already for someone else. I do appreciate your point of view. How do you allow this to happen? <laughs> oh, damn, they get carried out, bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Shit like this piss me the fuck off. Like, I get the fact that you're doing the protests, but there's ways to do it without damaging what's inside the store. Like, you don't have to go into the store and damage the product to make a point. Like, you can schedule, like, meetings with the higher-ups. Like, oh, I want to I talk to you guys about maybe putting more vegan products on display in your store or whatever. Or just make, like, a well-thought-out presentation as to why, you know, vegan is the way to go. Like, make it more peaceful, not destructive, and People like this deserve to get their head kicked the fuck off. Like, this is unnecessary. Let's see, there's just protesters outside. It's like what they say, the hardest thing about being a vegan is keeping it a secret. If you're a vegan, that's fine. Nobody actually gives a shit. And if you're going to protest on the street, exactly. on people's days and expect things like this to happen. <laughs> Now they are people from entering the restaurant like what the hell? <laughs> yo, yo, let that be me. <laughs> I'm I'm going smooth the hell off. <laughs> like there's going to be three moves of mine. Scooby-Doo, Samuel L. Jackson, and Broly. <laughs> First, I'm going to have the Scooby-Doo look on my face. Then I'll turn it to Samuel L. Jackson. Like, motherfucker, if you don't get the hell out my way, I'm trying to go eat. And you sitting out, you sitting out here protesting and not letting people into the restaurant. Like, are you kidding me? Then when, those, when they don't listen, like, the first two times? That's when I turn into Broly and start clotheslining everybody. <laughs> like, you get a clothesline. You get a clothesline. You get a clothesline. <laughs> I'm just handing out clothesline for the low of free 99. <laughs> oh, Magic no. beef that came from magic place. It is both. But it came magic. from a slaughterhouse and a factory farm. That's a baby that's six weeks old. If you did that to a pigeon over there, you'd be called a psychopath. But it's totally normalized when he buys it from KFC. Uh. Hardcore vegans are the worst. Is he a certain chicken fries into someone's pocket? <laughs> He's just sitting there enjoying the chicken sandwich, bro. <laughs> yeah. Had their head hacked off for you guys. Oh, bro. So, is it a health food? Yeah. Is it health food, is it? Yeah. Eating chicken in front of a vegan campaign. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, 
you got KFC and Popeyes all in all across seas. <laughs> I love it. A chef who was getting protested by a bunch of animal rights activists and vegans. I don't know what the fuck they were trying to do, but you decided to butcher uh, a leg of deer in front of them. And it became this horrific thing. Like, how could you do that? How did it become such a crazy viral story? We had a little chalkboard sign out front that said, venison is the new kale. And uh, the mm. cyclist vegan uh, rode by and took huge offense to our sign. And all of a sudden, one day, these protesters just showed up. Well, they were shouting at our at our guests and shouting in our door and really trying to harm our business. That we get a whole deer uh, a couple times a month, and we we butcher it ourselves. And uh, I just said, screw it, screw it. I'm like, I'm gonna get these people to get out of here. So I thought that that would make them go away. I'm not saying all vegans are like this. I know plenty of vegans that are not lunatics and would think these guys are idiots as well. If you want to be vegan, that's fine. Be vegan. I personally think you're missing exactly. out on a lot of great meat. Pause. But a lot of the attention-seeking muppets that are protesting and disturbing businesses, I think they just want it as an excuse to act like dicks and they all need Michael. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that Michael clip would never get old. Like, get some help. <laughs> but yo, yo, hardcore vegans are the worst. <laughs> they are the absolute worst. Like, they want to push their beliefs on the people and, and it's like, yo, they get easily triggered when they see people enjoy the food they enjoy. Like, it's okay to be vegan. I mean, nobody's knocking you for it. Just don't force feed your beliefs onto people and try and try to like chastise them for it. Because you don't want you don't want people to chastise you because of you living the vegan lifestyle. So we so people that enjoy like you know, eating, eating like proteins within like chicken and beef and whatnot. We deserve, we deserve that same treatment. I'm just saying. <laughs> but yo, let me know what y'all thought about this one down below, man. This was hilarious. <laughs> ah. But yo, as always, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. And don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe. Come kick it with your boys. It's one good solid time. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss a video from yours truly. You feel me? And please feel free to follow me on social media right over yonder. And this is your boy Blaze. Here to say and Chuck the Deuce. And I will see y'all in the next video. I'm out.